Hello everyone, hope you had lots of fun building your own balloon cars. I'm really excited to see all the different types of creation that you all made at home. But for now, let's test my balloon cars. Now I've got two different types here. I've got one that I made with cardboard wheels, which I cut out myself, but I also made one that has some CD wheels as well, which are a bit more round, a bit bigger as well. So let's see which one goes further along my table. Okay, that worked incredibly well. In fact, so well it fell off our table. So let's try our second one. Okay, we didn't have so much success with our second car. In fact, it didn't move at all. So what happened? Well, as you can see on my second car, my wheels are actually a lot more wobbly, which meant that when I blew into my balloon and stored that energy that I was going to use to move my car. A lot of the energy actually went into trying to move my wheels in different ways and not into actually moving them forward. But there is also a second force going on here that we need to consider. It's the same force when you put your hands together and rub them and you can feel that heat, that's friction. It's two surfaces rubbing together. Now sometimes friction can be bad, but it can also be good. In fact, friction, we need it to be able to walk around. We need the friction to be able to grip onto my table here to move the car forward. Now, as you can see, my wheels on this car are a bit thicker. There's a bit more friction going on to grab it on. Whereas these wheels are incredibly thin, which means there isn't that much friction. But you know what? I'd love to see some of the creations that you made at home. So please can you share videos and photos with us of all that you have done and so we can see where your curiosity took you.